What is going on everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Ark in the Blacks campaign. So I fixed mostly of what was going on. So I shouldn't be seeing too many more issues. I had to actually do a little bit of uh, manipulation behind the scene um, with my recording software and my drivers and it, it gets kind of boring. So <laughs> anyways... We've got to perform the Staff of Nagash. This is technically how we get the fifth book. So let's go ahead and finish this battle and we're going to wrap up this campaign. Going up against Skaven. A lot of Skaven slaves. Now they do have a Doom Wheel. That's a little concerning. And looks like a whole bunch of Storm Vermin. Okay. So let's go ahead and fight this. For the Arch Necro. Why would Tetris and Skaven? <laughs> That's the only thing that doesn't make sense. Some princely to be swatted aside by such an inferior. Better you. This Hyro Titan you walking in looks awesome. Pretty cool map, actually. And your servant's head will be returned on a spike. All right. Oh, we're, we're right in. Okay. Let's go ahead and slow it down briefly just so that I can kind of get my bearings here. See what we've got. We are all over the place, it looks like. Let's get the, um, let's get the casket up top for sure. Oh, yeah, we, we are everywhere. Start moving everybody up. We'll use you guys as a flanking force. Uh, maybe have you support the center. You Shopti. Get them running as well. Then, of course, our leadership core. Get you guys moving up front. And then, oh yeah, I completely forgot about you guys. Why are they on the opposite sides of the field? It's a little annoying. Move them out there. And I kind of want to save the uh, the Tomb Swarm for the more advanced units. In fact... Skaven Slaves, Skaven Slaves, yeah. We'll wait. Oh, we're already engaging. Let's crush these, uh, these slaves as best we can, as quickly as we can. I guess we'll just kind of rush everybody in here. Do Shopti cleaving through them. Okay, let's deal with, with this quick. Actually, move the uh, chariots out here. Okay, we can we can pull back from that. That's pretty much a route. Same thing with these guys. We'll pull them out here. Let's reposition. You guys come back. Now, this has happened to me. Yep, it's still busted. I can't use some of my abilities, and it's very frustrating. Let's see if we can take down their lord, which will break all these slaves. Look at all this. This is going to be a cluster. Pull back. Yeah, I hate when this happens. Put back here. All my chariots. Yep. Yeah. Yep, they're getting stuck. That's so annoying. So, if anybody else running off in a weird direction. <laughs> uh. Come back here. Yeah, this is a bad matchup. Let's go ahead and tear through it. 
right, I'll start doing this. You guys do this, get on those. Alright, swing back around. Stop them from chewing up all of my shop to here. Uh, units. Meanwhile, everybody else. You guys move up here. Same thing. Yeah, there's just so much. There's too much going on for me to be able to manipulate everything. I do, however, want to get a hold of that Doom Wheel if I can. Like so. Clan rats? A lot of clan rats. Tomb Guard would hold up pretty well against them. Okay. Oh man, are we gonna lose some. We get them out of there. Yeah, those clan rats are tearing through my Necropolis Knights. We'll lose them. Back to we'll support with you guys. And we are we are spread out everywhere right now. That is not good. Too much going on. Yeah. You gonna gonna shoot at him? All right. You get him involved over there. This turned into a complete cluster over here. Let's see if we can route some of these units. Put some serious damage on them. Like that. That did big damage. Hopefully we get some fear going. Let's get my chariots involved. Start getting them to plow through the rest of these guys. Everybody's just caught up in all this crap over here. I wish I could use Spirit Leech. This is so bad that I can't. Let's start burning down the other units in any way we can. Looks like we might be losing some Tomb Guard unless we support them. Let's give them a little support. Get you guys in the backs of these clan rats. That should help out. Same thing, you guys can help over, over here. Leadership core move up. We are slowly but surely starting to turn the tide, despite some uh, some losses here. Yeah, we need to get into that damn catapult. Pull our chariots through. Oh, we got some knights over here. They're just sitting there. That's a good a good engagement for us. Good sandwich. Skaven units don't do well on a, in a sandwich. Let's get some, some of shop you right here. Right there. Right on top of all these guys. Let's see if we can get rid of a storm from them. Where are my shop at? Did they not work? I should. Ah, oh, man. The game would be much better if it didn't glitch so often. Ah. Uh, Nothing I can do about that now. That's not obviously not the spell we want for that. I guess. Um, let's see if we get a fate of be a uh, purple sun over on these guys. You know, all the rest of you need to be charging through them. Man, we have lost a lot of units here. This has not gone gone to plan. Mostly because we're getting uh, sanctioned off because I'm getting a little frustrated not being able to use, <laughs> use the abilities I want to. Completely forgot about the Libra Mortis. I am all over the place, guys. Oh, man. It's... It's been a pretty crazy battle. Jeez. We should have pulled back. Yeah, we lost a ton of units because of this. Turn around and 
fight these guys. You two. Well, now they're starting to break. And they're broken. <laughs> so we won, but at severe cost. I probably should have slowed down the game a couple times just to give orders. And um, I did overextend myself quite a bit on a few. They just kind of kept leading us in. We, we wreaked a heavy toll, but they just kept pulling us and pulling us and pulling us. But look at all the dead rat men. Thousands. There's the dead doom whale. I, even for, I forgot about the doom whale for a while. But, um, okay, let's go ahead and end that. Alright, so we lost a couple units, not too many. We should be able to, uh, to replenish those losses pretty easily. I guess let's get the, uh, get the troop back. A fraction of your master's will resides within all his artifacts. The staff, most of all. With five books and the staff in your possession. It is time to claim the Black Pyramid. Yet, Cetra's armies stand guard. The senile king has ever been jealous of your master's power. Victory ensures the Black Pyramid returns to its creator. And then, the resurrection huh. can begin. Oh, the gash will rise. We will rise. I don't see how Cetra has any legions left, as uh, I slayed him <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> but regardless, we are going to make our way to Sudenberg, so i got a plan. I've got a plan for um, everything that we've lost, actually. So let's see here. Um, we definitely want our Tomb of Guards with Halberd back. And... Yeah... I think we move up one more for everything else. Let's see, what do we have up here? Yeah, we got everything we need up here. Is that five turns? Yeah, that's that's way too many turns. So I'm actually really thinking about dropping the Kepra Guard because they don't get any of the melee attack buffs. See they're looking at 3841. Now they do have magical attacks. But we are basically we're stride out with 3852. Well, you know what? Do they have more armor? No, they got the same amount of armor. We'll leave it. We'll leave them. We'll give it a shot. Um, yeah, we do want to get another set of Necropolis Knights, and I've got something else in mind to replace the chariots we've lost. Because I have actually recorded this a few times, <laughs> but <laughs> I have had a uh, a terrible string of luck. When it came to um, when it came to um, getting the footage down packed, so um, let's get the oh yeah, that ten percent physical resist that's pretty huge. I guess we get the the buff in um, in health points plus speed. All right for our prince, we'll finish out his charge bonus. That'll be huge. And our necrotect. I doubt his attention. Uh, I guess we'll just give you some extra armor. And you know what? While we're at it, let's actually get the best of the best for our lovely Arkham. And we're not going to need this anymore. So let's see here. What can we give you? Plus 12 for Necro Sphinxes. I plan on putting some Necro Sphinxes in. Um, do we have anything for. Okay, that's for Tomb Guard. Do we have something that makes him go berserk or anything? I think there's something like that. Death Blow. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually take this Death Blow from Keen Wakoff. Because he's not going to need it. 
he is not going to need it. And we've got a bunch of Canopa jars. Um, Arkin, what is your... Okay, this is all looking pretty good. Yeah, I like all of that, actually. Now, our Tomb Prince. Look, he's got... Yeah, definitely give him the Crook and Flail. And... Let's give you that big ward save. Steal it from that other guy. And you already have the Armor of Eternity. Oh, yeah. So let's give you those Van Braces. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Okay, good. And in the same vein, our Necrotect, he could definitely use some love. Mortuary Robes, eh, that's not bad. Plus 7, plus 4%. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, I like that one better. Give him a little passive, passive ability. He needs a good talisman. And you know, let's get him the heretic jar so we can heal him. Let's see if we can make him a decent, halfway decent talisman. Magic ward save. There we go. The golden eye of Ra Nut. I think that's about it, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and give him that. Boom. We'll call that good. And we're just going to skip through everything. Because it doesn't matter what happens to anything anymore. <laughs> as, long as, uh, as long as we make it to the next couple turns and complete the final battle. So we're just going to pour all our resources into Arkans Army. And um, build it up to the... Basically it's going to be our, um, our final battle for the entire campaign. Arkin's finally going to resurrect his long dead master. Let's see what, what, is, what does Queek wish? Queek? Nope. I can't do it, man. I can't risk pick, pissing off Marathi. I really don't need her to send some Dark Elves after us. It, not that it matters anymore anyway. They won't be able to stop us in time to do any anything of note. We've got Wood Elves. I apologize for the sniffling. I'm actually uh, a bit under the weather right now, <laughs> so so that also might be affecting my gameplay. At least that's what I'm going to say. That's what's going on if I screw up badly enough. Um, let's get some Necrosphinxes. See, we're we're going to be construct heavy, very very construct heavy. And then let's get. Um, Man. Oh. This is a tough choice. Because these guys are anti-large. That's kind of what we're going to be needing them for. Is anti-large. Not necessarily. Huh. Well, I mean, we've already got the... Yeah, we already have them. Let's, let's just get one more unit of Necropolis Knights. So three turns, burn through all of this. We do have the Tomb Swarm ability still. That's gonna be uh, a big help in the final battle. Let's see what the Lizardmen are up to, nothing. For all that posturing, the way I thought that this was going to go down, I thought the Lizardmen were really going to be a problem, and uh, we barely fought them. So, that went out pretty well. Clan Pestilence. High Queen Kalida. She declared war on us, and then did, did nothing to back it up. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, he teched my lich. I don't appreciate that. What? Sure. I don't even know who you are. Just some random army up north. That's cool. They're at war with the High Elves, so I guess... They might be rebels, actually. Might be a High Elf rebel faction. Let's see. Vashnar's Conquests, I believe is what they were called. Black hearted. Choose your words carefully, too. Are they 
I think they're dark elves. Yeah, they must have been a. Um... Very well. Hold on, where are they? Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> We're defensive allies, so we should be able to see their territory. That can't be theirs. Huh. That's odd. If I click on him, maybe it'll take me to him. Fear my matters. It says they're right there. Huh. Okay. Well, I've got some more uh, some more allies in the uh, the land of uh, Ulthuan. Somehow. Let's go ahead and skip through all this again. End the turn. One more turn and we are fully staffed, completely replenished, and Arkham is going to be ready to take some names. Alright. Oh, the lizards are on the move. They're not moving towards us, though. Hmm. Pestilence. No. Well, see, it's kind of weird. They're just like, hey, let me, let me walk through your lands. Why would I let you do that? You've done absolutely nothing for me the entire campaign. Didn't want to trade. So, no. Why would I, why would I help you right here at the very end? I forgot about King Wolkoff's army building it up. It's not going to matter. None of it matters. Lock King Lemmy's right here to head off some lizardmen if they get any bright ideas. And we're going to swing through one more turn. Be done with it. Okay, they're moving away though. They might be looking for a way to circle around and just pop up, maybe next to uh, Antok there. get a new uh, army not that it's gonna matter because this is gonna be it guys let's move out and let's do the final battle battle for the black pyramid we are gonna lose this fight is what it looks like <laughs> so we're gonna have to pay extra close attention to uh, to how we're manipulating everybody all right neck on horsemen the hero Titans are gonna be a bit of a bother Cutting through all of them to get to the Grand Hierophant. Curse would be his name. And then, we, of course, we have Cetra, who's always a beast, who I'm not going to be able to use my abilities on because uh, because the game's glitched <laughs> and I can't use them. And we've got a lot of Necropolis Knights. That's a lot of Knights to deal with. Well, we're going to do our best. So let's go ahead and fight this battle, guys. Wish me luck. And um, if all goes well, that is going to be it for Arkin's campaign. My master, your black pyramid is ready. I do not claim this. I am merely its steward, a warden to keep your shrine ready for your inevitable <laughs> resurrection. A necessary task, for even now the feeble tomb kings gather to steal your oh, majesty. How dare they? Cetra sends all Nehekada well. against us, but with your staff in hand, they are doomed. They were already opening up on them, but they're opening up on us until... Ooh, let's go and pause this briefly just so I can <laughs> see what's going on. 
Where are they? Oh, he's he's actually on a. Uh, damn it, he's on his on his casket. So we really need to make the uh, the casket a priority. So we are going to set up some defensive uh, defensive barriers here. Actually, we're going to do all of this in hopes of. You know what? Let's actually bring the Hyro Titans in the center here. Okay, that's flanks holding up pretty good. This flank, on the other hand, not so good. Yeah, we're about to lose a damn Necrosphinx. Get it out of there. That's crazy. Get into the archers. We'll start tearing through those. Actually, we'll bring you. Now nah, we'll leave you there to deal with them. Start running the Surgeon Legion up through here. Where's my? He'll... Oh, he can't heal himself. Come on. Yeah, we need to be burning down High Queen Kalita. Come on. Oh, you get some damage on them. Okay, that's good, that's good. Falcon, get you over here, man. These guys need some help. They need some help bad. This side of the battlefield is not going well. All of you up here. Who was that, Cetra? Yeah, that's Cetra. We did get some reinforcements, though. Some much needed reinforcements. Okay, we got more bats. We're going to use them to take care of the archers. Like that. We got Cryptors. We'll run them over here. This side of the battlefield is going very poorly. If you get into them along with these guys. I guess we'll actually summon our Shopti right here. Let's start doing some damage. Oh god, it did it again. We didn't get our Shopti summon. I don't know what the hell. I mean, come on, man. Give me a little bit of a break. I need I need something to go right. Uh, get in on them. So we're going to be losing these cryptors. Priest. Keep getting into these guys. So jump with them. Okay, the fell bats have taken care of most of this up here. We could deal with this crap back here and we could finally be done. I think it just go out to the wayside. It's not doing anybody any good. And we're finally starting to disintegrate all that. The fell bats are going to have to come help. Really, we need them to kind of suicide themselves. Yeah, we need to take care of these these catapults.
Why didn't it take the first time? Ooh, big damage on the Tomb Guard. Yep, big damage on that Tomb Guard as well. Good. Okay, we finally killed Kalida. Pile on the rest of these guys. It is really annoying how long it's taking to, uh, to finish off everything that's left. Well, we're going to lose that, but that's okay. God. They're starting to pick us off, slowly but surely. We've done some serious damage, though. These guys are finally done. Start getting them up here. Oh, I forgot about these crit ghouls. Get them running up. Alright, so let's slow this down for a second. Let's get you into those chariots. Get you into them. Get you guys coming this way. Let's hit those Ushapti. Kind of piecemealing them. he's doing. Uh, the rest of you... Yeah, get way up there. It's gonna be a while before they get up there, but hopefully these guys can hold out long enough to deal with at least these. Get in those archers. Okay, we should be able to pin most of this down. Give him a heal. Throw down a banishment there. Hopefully, it hits these uh, tomb guard. Yes, those tomb guard are decimated now. They won't be giving us any more problems. Let's throw down a little bit of defenses for our guys, and then let's pile on Cetra here. If we can take out Cetra, we can uh, we can definitely win the day. Let's try to cheap them out if at all possible. Like so. Right, the rest of you guys are just standing there. Run up here. You run in there. Let's um, yeah. Let's get the let's get, get some of that action going. The rest of you guys are just standing there. Run over here. Okay, those war sphinxes are tearing us up. What can I burn through? Some tomb guard. Where'd Cetra go? He escaped. Bastard! Okay, at least got into these archers. We need to finish off those catapults though, because they are becoming a bit of a nuisance. Put you guys in this way. Etc. I think we can shoot him. Alright, let's get our prince out of here. Let's get him on etc. Where is he? Oh, he's almost dead. He is almost dead. Oh, get those Shafti away from Arkin. Come on, Arkin, get out of there, dude. You should be fast. on them. Did Cetra die? I think he died. He died. They're disintegrating. That's it. That's it. They've got, some, they've got a prince. A prince is all that's left. Oh, yes. Where's he at? Where's that dead bastard at? Is that his chariot? That's his chariot. <laughs> Pyrrhic victory, but it doesn't matter.
And it is at this point that the audio failed <laughs> after countless, countless technical difficulties. Now, I will say this. Um, while I was recording, there was absolutely no stutters, no graphical issues, no sound issues. So I thought my recording was going fine, but apparently it was not fine on the... Um, capture card and so it might be my capture card i don't know i'm gonna have to look into it um it's working with my other games like my god of war playthrough that i've been using it's working fine so i think it might just be total war and i'm going to have to <laughs> do some research into it guys so hopefully uh, i mean yeah this sucks it sucks that this is what happened at the uh, very end of this game and I apologize. Um, there's just not much I can do about it. I tried recording this episode four or five times just to try to get everything right. And this is the closest I got and the most footage I could salvage. So uh, once again, I apologize, guys, for everything that happened. Um, and hopefully uh, we can have a better start off <laughs> going on going forward. But um, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching the series up to this point. Uh, it's a little disappointing the way it ended, but we was victorious, I guess, kind of. <laughs> At least on my end, I was. So until I get this sorted out, I'm going to be avoiding Total War for a little while, trying to uh, get this all up and running. I do want to start a Mortal's Empire campaign in May, so uh, God willing, I'll get this up and running, and then we will start a new series. So, for now, I hope you are content with God of War and, of course, the lore content. So, as always, guys, I have been Jumbo Thick. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you guys in a new series. Have a good day.